Hey, you guys, what is going on? On. Are you ready? Are you ready? Come on, come on. We ready? Come on, come on. We ready? <laughs> okay. So listen to this. Fifty Cent, ex, you know his baby. What well, one of his baby mama, Daphne Joy, was named in Rodney Jones' thirty million dollar lawsuit. You guys, according to court documents, Daphne Joy, she's an OnlyFans model. You know what that means, right? Mm-hmm. She was accused of being a sex worker involved in Diddy's sex trafficking ring. Are we surprised by this? These so-called Instagram models? We know what that means. We're not stupid. Let's be real. Okay? People are waking up to the BS. These so-called Instagram models are really freaking prostitutes. Okay? They are paid escorts. But let's move on. So, Young Miami. Young Miami is also in the lawsuit. So this is the second time or third time she's mentioned. So this time, listen to this. Rodney Jones personally witnessed Diddy do, well, Mr. Combs, do a few lines of coke in his dressing room. Okay, and Diddy wanted to see Tucci, Tucci, <laughs> um, but Brandon forgot it. Remember, Brandon is the one who got locked up yesterday at the airport. He's the drug mule, mm -hmm. well, one of them, right? He forgot it. So uh, Christina Coram, you know, one of Diddy's workers, that's the one who wants Diddy to stay high. They always want, she always wants Diddy to stay high, and she told the staff to always keep drugs on them. For Diddy, because they they want Diddy to stay high, to stay on drugs, right? So Christina Korem called Young Miami, who then brought it on a private jet from Miami. Look at this document, one ninety seven, right? Robin Greenhill, the accountant, would ensure the wiring funds transfer or cash payments to sex workers. Frankie Santella. Moy Bond, Brandon Paul is the one who was arrested on Monday, right? The drug mule. And KK would also be responsible for ensuring payments to sex workers and cash. Young Miami, Jade, and Daphne Joy were paid a monthly fee to work as Mr. Combs sex workers and receive payment via wire transfer. From Robin Greenhill, which outlined defendant's ongoing criminal operation. So there you have it. Young Miami is a drug pusher and a, a prostitute. But are we surprised by this? Are we surprised by this? Oh, by the way, the the cocaine that he wanted, that he called it Tucci, T-U-C-I. T-U-C-I, it's... Cocaine mixed with ecstasy. Yeah, cocaine mixed with ecstasy. He called it pink cocaine. This is what Young Miami was bringing him when Diddy don't have it around. This is crazy. And I see that Jade, the, the name Jade. And you guys remember, these three names are not the only sex workers for Diddy. Believe me, there are plenty, plenty more. A lot of Instagram models are working for him. A lot of celebrities, you know. Let's put Mary J. Blige in this, please. Mary J. Blige, oh yeah, when is your time, Mary J. Blige? Because, hmm, <laughs> Naomi Campbell. Yeah, these are, they're very, we know about Naomi Campbell. But she's very tight, very, very, very close with uh, Diddy. And so is Mary J. Blige. Very, very, very tight. Uh, Mary J. Blige has a lot of skeleton in her closet. And I'm going to do a video on her because this lady is, oh, she's disgusting, okay? I need to calm down because these things just, hmm. Yeah, so anyway, so the document says Young Miami, Jade. I wonder if this is Jade, the one who Offset was creeping with. The one who Cardi B is jealous of. The one who Cardi B wants to look like. Changing her face. Looking crazy. Yeah, that Jade. I wonder if that's Jade. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised because... Yeah. 
It says Jade, so it could be Jade, mm -hmm, the one from Instagram. Because, you know, these Instagram girls, you know what they're about, you know what they're down for, you know. Listen, let's, <laughs> let's move on, okay? We'll get back to Young Miami in a minute, but let's talk about 50 Cent. He, did res he responded to his baby mama being accused of being a sex worker as if he, come on, he's not, listen, that's how he got with her. Okay, and please. So he wrote this on um on uh, Instagram and also Twitter. He said, "I didn't know you was a sex worker, you little sex worker." L O L. Yo, this shit is a movie. So yeah, but come on, he knows all this already. Believe me, he knows all this already. But he's you know he's you know he's making fun of it, you know poking, <laughs> you know he's a troll so. But yeah, so he but he been new this. These Instagram models, these only fans. Yeah, so um so it, but Young Miami is on Twitter pretending to be unbothered, right? Someone asked when the when the thing went down, when the raid, they were like, Where, uh, where's Carisha? That's her real name. And she's like, I'm right here, what's up? She responded or retweeted, I mean tweeted back, you know. Acting like she's unbothered. Girl, we know you are bothered. You could, girl, we know how you get down. Any women who would deal with Diddy, right? And you know what makes me like really like, oh, disgusted by this ghetto, freaking trashy girl? And she's a beautiful girl. And it's just like sad that she's like gets down like that. So I remember, well, let me say this. Any women who deals with Diddy, because everyone knows. You don't deal with the devil and then you think you're going to be walking clean. No. He's bringing you into his world. He's going to have you do the things that he he's doing. Right? So, come on. You think you're going to, like, that's what I'm saying. Anyone who deals with Diddy and who don't fucking run. Excuse my language. I didn't mean to curse. Who don't run. It's like, come on. You okay with his behavior. You down with what he's into. You don't go to the devil's playground and thinking you're going to change him or you're going to. No, he's going to change you and make you a po man. Listen, whatever. Let's get to it. OK, let's move on. But yeah, young Miami, I remember when Gina Yon Hon, the, the Asian lady that he was messing with, she was saying how she was interviewed and she was like three years ago. Or uh, four years ago, she was saying how when she met Diddy, Diddy, um, she was not attracted to Diddy. So you see, they never attracted to Diddy, but they see the lifestyle and they want the lifestyle. And it's like, it's not worth it. And he's the one, Diddy's, that she's the woman that Diddy stomped on her stomach and had her, you know, she had a miscarriage from it. And she went, she's, oh gosh. Anyway, right? So Young Miami and uh, and Gina was going back and forth on Twitter when the I guess like last two years ago yeah twenty twenty two and Young Miami was just talking reckless to her yeah talking real reckless calling her sushi calling her you know because she's Asian and listen to this so she says things like Gina you've been down bad ever since I came into the picture hole. You, you've been crying for a baby for 10 years, hoes. You've been around as a bee that eat P-U-S-S and D-I-C-K. When he feel like it, you a eater, right? So he's making fun of her because she lost the baby because she, she wanted to have a baby. And did he cause her to have a, a few abortions or miscarriage or whatever? So, so young Miami went on to tweet more stuff very disgusting stuff right and he's she's like you want a baby b you know b-i-t-c-h i have a korea how you a certified freak you haven't heard from diddy since the awards reminiscing on abortions let that hurt go chan lee you see like how you make fun of someone who ugh and this this trashy girl, she got like two kids. 
Yeah, she's she's a loser. But okay. So and then she said this also. If I wanted you to eat my p u s s s y, then it would have had you on your knees, ho. You a eater. So she's telling on herself. This way, this is way before this would have been the lawsuit. So you see, if I wanted you to eat my p u s s y, Diddy would have would have had you on your knees. So you see, this is very telling, and she's bragging about this. And we know how did he get down? All these sex workers, all these nasty things. So she just told on herself in that freaking tweet. And this was twenty twenty two, December thirteenth, twenty twenty two. If I wanted you to eat my p u s s y, did it would have had you on your knees? This is very telling. She is trash. She's very trashy. I don't like her. That Carisha girl, whatever. She's trash. And then she's pushing, and then she's the she's the one. Um, according to the lawsuit, um, Thanksgiving twenty twenty two, she uh, her cousin was with you know was with her and Diddy and you know Rodney Jones, the one who's suing Diddy for thirty million dollar lawsuit. I mean thirty million dollars. So Rodney Jones said her cousin, Young Miami's cousin. Was forcing herself on him. She followed him to the bathroom, trying to you know suck him off. He pushed her off. She followed him out. You know she was trying to you know she wanted to have S E X with him in front of everybody in front of Diddy. So you see, she is disgusting. For your cousin to be doing that, it's because she knows that this is how you guys get down. You get down like that with Diddy. For a cousin, imagine breaking somebody. To, to to someone's event or someone's house, you're just hanging out. For you to be this bold, this brave, you that means you know how they get down. That means you already know how your cousin get down because you would not want to embarrass her like that. If you know what I mean, like think about it. You are young Miami's cousin, and you forcing yourself on a guy who don't want you, trying to. Suck him off, and he's pushing you off him, following him around, saying you wanna have S E X with him in front of everybody. It's because you know how these nasty folks get down, and you okay with it? Because then you would, because if if you were not, if they were not down with that, if you know your cousin in Miami wasn't like that, you wouldn't be this bold. And I'm willing to bet Diddy was pimping that cousin too. How much you wanna bet? He was pimping that cousin too. Man, listen. I'm. Oh, <laughs> my goodness. These people are disgusting. These people are trash. So young Miami can continue to act like she's unbothered because she's very bothered. This is bad. This is bad. And you think Diddy gonna save her? Diddy freaking left his kids behind. Okay. Do you think he's gonna really listen? Young Miami, you're done. You are done. You are finished. Okay, because you are just as trashy as Mary J. Blige, as Naomi Campbell, and so many, many, many more, and they will come out. Everything that's done in the dark will come to light. No need to be envious of these people. Okay, we know what they are into. They are morally bankrupt. Okay, it's all about money, and a lot of them don't have the money. They, they, it's fake. It's fake. It's fake. Fake persona. Fake everything. And I will leave you guys with this Proverbs four fourteen through nineteen. Enter not into the path of the wicked, and go not in the way of evil men. Avoid it. Pass not by it. Turn from it and pass away, for they sleep not, except they have done mischief, and their sleep is taken away, unless they cause some to fall. So stay away from wicked people, stay away from evil, and their lifestyle reject their lifestyles. Okay. Um. Thank you guys for tuning in. Please like, please share, and please subscribe. Thank you. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.